Nope. This isn't dead space. It's the dual saw. <laughs> Zombie Go Boom starts now. Using real life settings, we put the weapons, everyday objects, and theories to the test. Learn the best ways to bash undead skulls and to stay alive in any situation. Forget everything you thought you knew about fighting zombies. Zombie Go Boom. Kick undead ass. The Dual Saw. This professional grade saw claims it can cut through any material, even a zombie. But before we test it out, let's check out the tail of the tape. The Dual Saw, sporting two laser-honed tungsten carbide blades and powered with a 900 watt motor that rotates the dual blades in opposite directions at 5,500 RPMs. Can it make a zombie go boom? First up, let's check out what it can do against our old ZGB standby, the coconut. All right. Hey, but say, Jim, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. What could it do to a turkey? Hey, sure thing, Jim. Who wants thigh meat? Yeah, but who needs frozen turkey when you can have ribs, dummy? Well, we like to have our fun, but let's take a look at what actually happened. Uh, so we decided to leave the packaging on because otherwise it would just be meat and bone and we thought this would actually act as a, as a fairly good skin analog, even though it's a little bit tougher than human skin. I mean, this thing cut directly into the bone. Check that out. It's all the way into the meat, all the way into the bone, but it didn't, it didn't go all the way through. It has a very shallow bleed depth. Well, we saw this thing carve partway into a coconut, we watched it tear up a frozen turkey, and we watched it manage to get through a, a rack of ribs with a little bit of snagging. But let's see what it can do against our skull analog. So, does the dual saw cut through a zombie as they claim? Yes. Does this make it an effective weapon? No. And we'll explain why. Here's the high speed footage. Uh, it has an incredibly short blade depth, so while you can cut through, you know, your, your undead opponents, you're probably not going to disable it immediately. You know, now that I look at the high speed footage, it seems like we need something a little more challenging. I've got it! All right, so uh, we watched it tear through a football helmet. Now let's talk about some pros and cons of the dual saw. We'll start with the pros. Pros, it is incredibly mobile, all right? Uh, you can take this thing almost anywhere, especially if you have a car battery and a power inverter. Um, it, uh, it can cut through damn near anything, as they claim, so they were right. And uh, also it can help you in, uh, in building fast fortifications or, um, or some other kind of application to wherever you're, you're holed up. Uh, the cons, and we've got a bit of a list, uh, it has an incredibly short blade depth. Uh, it has to be lubricated. That's what this is, a little stick of lube, but it only comes with a bag of maybe, oh, I don't know, like uh, 15 or 20, so if you run out, you're SOL. And it has to be plugged in. So, uh, like I said, unless you have that power inverter, you're not gonna be, you're gonna have to find a power source to plug straight in in order to use it. Uh, that's been this episode of Zombie Go Boom. I'm Jim Goza. Happy hunting.